Hello, wonderful people. I'm Gail Cruz from Wonderbot Animals. And here is... These best friends refuse to be rescued without each other. Before we begin, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification button for more amazing videos. These poor dogs were found sticking together after they were abandoned. For months, the strays had been living in a truck yard after being left to wander the streets outside of Los Angeles. They were fed for months by a kind woman who worked near the truck yard but didn't seem to trust anyone but each other, even the team who was organized to rescue them once they were discovered. These two dogs were totally inseparable. Each of them had been wandering the streets for weeks picking up scraps of food wherever they could find them. Fortunately, the two crafty dogs found each other and teamed up together, forming a two-dog pack. Not only did this help them increase their chances of survival on the streets, but it also made the two best friends. They were teamed up against the world looking for a way to survive. As domestic dogs without a home, these poor animals could have easily ended up starving to death. While you might think that dogs are totally self-reliant and can take care of themselves if they had to, that's not always the case. Dogs who have been bred to be house pets and who have grown up in a family with caretakers do not have the same survival instincts that dogs in the wild have. This is why homeless dogs are such a problem. Many of them end up starving to death or injured because they simply don't know how to take care of themselves out in the wild. These two dogs had been wandering the streets for weeks before they found their temporary home. They began camping out in a Los Angeles truck yard next to a factory. One day, one of the women working there spotted the two strays and decided to help them. While she was unable to adopt them herself, she made sure that the two dogs were fed. For more than six months, the factory worker brought the dogs food, making sure that the pair had enough to eat. After six months, however, the woman received some news that would change her situation and might mean that the dogs no longer had reliable access to food. The factory worker had to move soon, far enough away that she would no longer be able to feed the dogs she had grown to care for. She worried about what would happen to them. Would someone else take over feeding them? Would they starve? Would the lack of food mean that they went back to roaming the streets looking for scraps of food in the garbage? She decided something had to be done. The woman looked for a place that might be able to help the pair. She did some research before finding a local animal rescue group called Hope for Paws, asking if there was anything the organization might be able to do to help the strays. Hope for Paws works to help animals in need, making sure that they receive medical attention if necessary. They also help to find these animals happy and safe homes. But would they be able to help these two homeless dogs? One of the founding members of Hope for Paws, Eldad Hager, said that he would be happy to do what he could to help this dog duo. Hager went out to the yard where the dogs had been taking shelter to see what course of action would best suit the animals. Seeing the conditions in which the dogs were living, he knew that there was no way they could continue living on the street. He knew that the best way to help the dogs would be to rescue the animals and help to place them in permanent homes with loving families. Eldad Hagar's team consisted of volunteers from all over the world who were working with Hope for Paws aiming to make the world a better place for animals. The volunteers came from places as far away as Australia, the United Kingdom, and Costa Rica. The group of volunteers strategized to figure out how to best rescue animals in need. Many animals who live on the streets become mistrustful of humans, as they've been abused or neglected. Having rescued many dogs before, the Hope for Paws team knew that the rescue would not be easy. When the Hope for Paws team went to the truck yard, their suspicions were confirmed. The two dogs had been without human companionship, aside from the woman who had been leaving food out for them, that they were wary of strangers. It would have been easy if the team could just lure the dogs in with some food, but as soon as the rescuers approached the animals, they ran away and hid. Hagar and his team knew they would have to get crafty to get these dogs away from the truck yard. Together, the team hatched a plan. The owner of the truck yard was happy to help the team rescue the dogs, and he became a critical part of the plan because the team had to resort to some pretty complicated tricks to get the dogs out of the yard. 
First, the team took a plastic barrier and put it in place in front of the yard so that if the dogs tried to run and hide again, they would be confined to the yard and unable to escape. Eldad Hagar explained the plan to news outlets after the rescue, telling the media about the unique challenges the team faced due to the particular obstacles that the truck yard presented. Once we secured the area, we needed to try and corner the dogs, said Hagar. The rescue was quite challenging because we always had to watch for our heads as we were under the trucks most of the time. Hagar and the team decided to concentrate their efforts on rescuing the male dog first. While the poor animal was terrified by the presence of humans in the truck yard, he showed no signs of aggression. Instead of attacking, he simply evaded the Hope for Paws team. He led them on quite a chase before he was eventually cornered and had a leash placed around his neck by his captors. The poor dog was still scared but began to calm down once he was aware that the Hope for Paws team was not planning on harming him in any way. As he began to settle down and make peace with the situation, the team gradually shifted their attention to the female dog, who was still hiding in the truck yard. The female dog was a lot less cooperative than the male dog, especially after she saw that her friend was captured. She refused to come out despite the team trying to show her that they were not threatening her. She scrambled over boxes and hid underneath trucks, determined to evade the team trying to catch her. But there was one thing that the female dog risked capture for, her best friend. After she saw him tied to the fence, the female dog ran over to him, trying to make sure that he was okay. Eventually, the female dog realized that there was no way of escaping. Growing tired, she finally gave up and let the Hope for Paws team capture her. Just like her best friend, she was terrified at first, but began to calm down after a leash was put on her. After the female dog was leashed, the two best friends were then reunited with each other. Both of the dogs were scared of what was happening, but they were still kind and gentle. While other animals in their situation might have lashed out at their captors, this pair did not want to hurt anybody. They were simply afraid of what would happen to them if they were caught by humans. Eldad Hagar later said, Both dogs showed zero signs of aggression. They were just so scared, but also relieved. We brought them closer to each other so they could have a positive experience with all of us. We just sat there for 30 minutes and discussed the names they will be. Now that the dogs were finally rescued, the team could focus on helping them feel comfortable in their new lives. One of the first things they did was give them new names. Since the pair consisted of a male dog and a female dog who worked together in the face of obstacles, the Hope for Paws team decided to name their dogs after an iconic superhero partnership. Lois and Clark. The team sat with Lois and Clark for a while, helping the two animals to calm down and settle their nerves. After the animals began to adjust to their new situation, Eldad Hagar decided that it was time to transfer them to an animal hospital. For the first time in months, the dogs were separated from each other. The two of them rode to the animal hospital in separate vehicles. While each dog had members of the team along on the ride to help keep them comfortable, they were very anxious and did not know what to expect in these new surroundings. The pair had not been able to rely on anyone but each other for such a long time that they were confused and didn't know how to react to their new situation. But that would soon change. After bringing the animals to the veterinarian, it was found that both of the dogs are mixed breeds. The vet also revealed that both of the animals were around two years old. Despite living in such harsh conditions, both Lois and Clark seem to be in relatively decent shape. Clark is a staffy pit bull mix, but Lois is a bit of a mystery. She is guessed to be some sort of a border collie and Australian shepherd mix, but no one is sure. It doesn't really matter though, because both animals were found to be affectionate and loving after their rescue, in spite of being a bit shy after everything the two had gone through. While the two dogs are now living indoors and are being cared for, they are still searching for a permanent home. Both of them are young and housebroken and get along with other dogs and with people. Hopefully, there's someone out there who will adopt both Lois and Clark because after everything these dogs have been through, they deserve to stay together. Not only was their tale an uplifting one, but it is also inspiring. If these two dogs can remain best friends in the face of such adversity, than anyone can.